only get three months of rain. And then I like to catch my drinking water because we've already gotten a bucket and a half. It's been so hard until you guys got here. <laughs> Seriously. is going to be a retreat center, so people will be here for uh -huh. 10 days to yeah. 6 weeks. Yeah. And then I want to have a the meditation thing where people will be here as long as they want to be doing their work. Yeah. You know, meditating. So the neighbors come and wash and clean and get their well water and he carries 50 gallons of water up the hill almost every day. Up to about like the equivalent of ours. You know. yeah. And then she does about this, you know, a couple of loads on her head. Just crazy. But they tend to do the wash too close to the thing and I, so now that there's some rain, I'm gonna ask them to put Did the wash you, station down, mm, down the you dig the well? No, it someone did, though. It's all hand, hand dug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So that was your wash station? Wash station and our food pantry. Three levels of shelves. And then we had more of a table. We took that apart. And we had our stove and cooking thing. And then I made a uh, rocket stove to try to start cooking, but I... I'm learning. The whole idea is that you use very little um, fuel. Well, like if, in Oaxaca, they all had wood burning stuff. Yes, so but they don't have... burn at this really high temperature. Because oh, okay. you have to get the airflow to get the high temperatures going, and this creates no smoke. He was thinking about doing the same project in Asia, uh -huh. but this is the place where he said the people always seem to be the happiest with the, with the least amount. <laughs> and that's what he liked about the Mexico was the yeah. people. We still have um, three lots left. It'd be nice to have people that are into meditation and yoga, mm -hmm. but maybe that's not going to happen in the people that have the houses. people looking for this but I don't know how to make it happen and I'm and I can see why I mean it's hard to make this happen yeah this is the special concrete so drought. If these rains had come when they were supposed to come, I probably would have left with my son. The wasp stung the tarantula and came back and picked him up and took it away. Yeah. Was it a tarantula wasp? Is that what they are? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Crazy.
Those things are so beautiful and so eerie. Oh, on them. Yeah, and then they go back and... (laughs) But they don't bother you. They look like they could really do some damage if it stung you. They don't bother you. They just kind of wait for you to move more than anything. Um, if you're in the way, 